Let's start this video with a question. You want a new set of irons, you go into a bay, you've got every single club you can properly choose from in terms of manufacturer. The question is, would you pick one from this brand behind me? Would you buy a Srixon product and stick it in the bag? Or have you bought one of those products and stuck it in the bag? I'm gonna look at a new set of irons which are, look, incredible. Would I buy them? I'm not so sure. Right, I've started collecting data and what am I, sort of four or five shots in. Uh, I've gone to a club that ordinarily, I think you've got to have some persuasion to buy it. And I say that because for me, Strixon are always up against it in the kind of, in the brand name. I'm not disputing the quality of this club, the Forge clubs that they've made in the past have been fantastic. But their pricing structure is very similar to that of the others and the others being the, what I would call the bigger brands in terms of the European and perhaps American markets. So I think they're up against it. I've seen this on the shelf, it's caught my eye, they always look good, and to be fair, they do always perform good. So why wouldn't I go for this iron? Well, I'm gonna check out the performance, we'll collect data, but I just wanna nip back inside, it's too cold for me to discuss it here. We're getting a warmth of the office. Now, I'll just give you a little bit at a technology that Srixon are saying is packed into this iron. Right, so a very brief explanation as to what Srixon is saying packed into these irons, because to be fair to Srixon, they don't go OTT in terms of their marketing claims, and I think a lot of people that, again, will appeal to. Uh, so I'm gonna read off the screen here, throw some images up for you. I think the most interesting one is the, uh, and the, the, the difference in these irons to the previous iterations is the this main frame, which is, again, um, artificial intelligence, AI inspired as they say, which is interesting because that's obviously something that was led by Callaway. Uh, but it's a milled pattern on the backside of each of the ZX5 irons, maximizes COR for ball speed and more distance on every shot. Um, next bit, progressive groove. So there's a different groove pattern between eight iron through to pitching wedge, which are sharper, narrower and deeper for more spin. Uh, that VT sole, which we've seen, or I've certainly seen on many occasions before, again, the idea is it glides through turf uh, more easier. I don't know, I've, I've never been able to see if that's a piece that appeals to me or not. Tungsten in the toe of the long and mid irons to give a bit more uh, MOI and stability, forgiveness, all those things that we love. Uh, a forged SUP10 face enhances speed and distance while a forged 1020 carbon steel body absorbs vibration for an extremely soft feel. There you go, I've read it from the screen. Like I said, they're not making major claims in terms of what they say there, but what happens back at Four Golf in terms of performance, which is uh, ultimately all that matters. Now you know better than me at this stage because I haven't looked at the technology. I don't know what Strixon is saying. I prefer it that way. I prefer to test the club on its merits. So whatever I've just told you, I don't know that at this stage, but I'm assuming there'll be some great tales about how this is power packed in terms of its performance. I do know the loft is 31 degrees, so that sits in what I would call very much the average category now in terms of a, 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 a the loft on a seven iron. Some images for you now in terms of the looks, I think it looks superb. Not a great deal of markings. I think the irons of late have been minimalistic in their design, and I think Strixon have done a great job in that. Again, Briefly, top line, not a great deal of it. Very much uh, sits into the sort of P770, 921 forged. You, that's the kind of where it's at. I love it. I mean, it literally at a dress looks superb. It kind of like the overall profile at a dress in terms of its mass looks a little bit bigger than what I'd uh, class as a player's iron. But overall, plenty of confidence, not a great deal of offset, just looking down at it now, superb. One thing that Strixon do incredibly well, and the one thing that we can't really pick up, is the uh, is the sound and feel from the clubs. They make much like I put in a category of Mizuno. They make a proper forged iron. No nonsense, no messing. This is a proper grain forged iron. That number again is incredible. Slightly quicker club head speed there, so that would explain a little bit of that. But the consistency in the numbers across the board so far have been incredibly impressive. We can hear the crack out of them, but that's serious. Woo.
that's a great shot you know that's coming in around the 165 mark if I'm not mistaken come on oh 164.2 which has been a number that I've seen a lot of 164 has been a number that's been very consistent in terms of performance I'd like to know this um, I mentioned before about buying Strix and Irons and why perhaps I would go to other brands first off I want to know from you in the comments box below a have you tried uh, Strix and Irons I'd love to know B, do you own Strix and Irons and uh, the final question is would you buy them and and what are the reasons that you perhaps wouldn't um, and have not considered them in the past because I can assure you that I don't really need to analyze data this club is performing incredibly well and as good as anything I've tested this year and that is an absolute peach to finish that bit on let's have a closer look at the numbers that's got to be 165 here we go come on 163.8 that 164 number has been very, very consistent. Right, as ever, let's not overcomplicate things and let's get straight into those numbers. Uh, here they are up on screen for you now. Yeah, take a look across those averages and take a look at them individually because there is so much consistency, it's incredible. Uh, first of all, the clubhead speed remained fairly consistent, so we've got some, uh, a good barometer to work with in terms of that. Uh, first column in, spin, 6,500 spin on a 31 degree lofted 7 iron. Yet again, that would, to the traditionalist, 31 degrees is very strong, but still producing 6,500 spin. Once again, defying that loft. Um, 163.3 carry, again, incredibly consistent. 19.4 launch, ball speeds of 118, peak height 103 land angle 50 degrees almost and uh, you know I mean this is the thing for me about this review I started at the very beginning question whether or not I would put a Strix and iron in the bag so for me the thing about this review is it's it asks the bigger question about why we choose the clubs that we do as golfers and often I reckon it's probably not for the uh, the right reason and as ever, I put myself in that category. Uh, this is not about, once again, it's not about what's right, what's wrong. It's about as golfers, as human beings, what do we do? How do we make our decisions? Because their numbers are arguably, without going sort of shot for shot, I think they're probably the best set of numbers I've produced with a seven iron in all the times I've tested. And that's how good they are. I think they're optimal in terms of every category that is in there, spin, launch angle, descent angle, peak height, everything in there ticks the box. So achieving all those numbers and then getting the carrier 164 with a seven iron, I don't reckon I can do any better. I don't think there's an iron that will come along that can do any better. What else can it do? And then you go back to the question, so why wouldn't I buy them? And to be quite honest with you, I'm asking myself that question. I, I, I mean, I think the answer is I probably would because those numbers are so good. And is that what Strixon have had to do? They've had to produce an iron that is unquestionably as good as, potentially better than, anything that's out there right now in that category. So for me, the looks thing is always something that's down to the personal preference, but I think they look really, really good. I think there's that happy medium of mass behind the ball that inspires confidence but is not over bulky. The feel is excellent in terms of uh, that forged head and then the performance is fantastic. The review's over. Like I said, I'm half sort of talking to you and asking myself that question ahead. Like, well, why, I'm not, why have the, you not got these irons in the bag? Uh, because that's how good they are. Anyway, that is it. I mean, as ever, it's uh, more about I was going to start throwing up this kind of disclaimer which basically says look these numbers that you see are relevant to me and me only i'm sure you all know that but the point is you know you go out you test them yourself there's a great set of irons potentially i mean i've only tested seven irons so there's a bigger picture than that but uh these are very very good 
and if you're looking at irons and considering swapping right now then these have definitely got to go into the equation uh, incredibly impressed no more to say as ever thanks for watching the comments bit is really interesting for me all the questions i've asked uh, about would you buy them what makes you buy irons and uh, you know should, would you tell me to buy these irons so get involved comments down below i'll see you all soon